So um, I'm moving from San Diego to Portland, and this was my overnight pit stop. That pit stop in Oakland turned into a horrible experience for Tony. It was supposed to be a new beginning for the high-end bicycle designer. He packed up everything he owned in this U-Haul van. He says it ended up like a bad dream. Tony's halfway point from San Diego to Portland is here in North Oakland. He parked the van and U-Haul right over there. And when he got up in the morning, it was gone. Anything from my pants to my trash can to my computer to my bed frame. Literally, just visualize any room in your house and whatever's in it is gone. His entire life was inside this U-Haul, which includes family heirlooms from Germany. Also stolen, his vintage Volkswagen that was in tow. That was Saturday morning. After reporting the theft to police, he then took to social media for help. Volkswagen groups, other, other areas of the internet that are all here to help. And slowly but surely it was shared, uh, multiplied pretty quickly. And then slowly I started getting some information. I'm like, hey, you should go look here. These are kind of the crime hotspots where stolen things get taken. That information took Tony to the Wood Street underpass this morning, a place where the unhoused live and fires have broken out in the past. Tony found his van there and called police. Well, they realized that there was somebody inside it, so um, they called in reinforcements and it ended up being several squad cars and about a two-hour standoff. Tony took this video of police pulling a squatter out of his stolen van. It was ransacked, all of his belongings gone. The U-Haul truck with an Arizona license plate and a distinctive bird on the side of it is still missing. Also gone, a couple of very expensive handmade bicycles, each worth up to $17,000. Everyone has been like, I'm really sorry this happened. This is, this is not Oakland, this is not Berkeley, this is not what we want. Tony feels a lot of gratitude for all the help from total strangers. All he wants now are his belongings back. In Oakland, Troll Heard, NBC Bay Area News.